What is going on guys? After here back with a brand new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to have movement like a pro player. Now there is new things and exciting things. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys everything. Make sure to stay tuned and watch the whole video especially at the end because I'm going to be giving you guys some amazing tips. You're going to be like damn Apathy has some good movement. Okay guys so there's a lot to talk about in today's video and to show you guys. So we're going to be breaking it down into three sections. We're going to be talking about how you can use this movement to engage in gunfights to basically win gunfights. We're going to be talking about how to disengage basically escape gunfights and just the overall movement pros use around the map. So without further ado, let's get this rolling. We're going to go straight off the bat. We're going to be talking about slide canceling. Now, this is a mechanic that's been introduced about two years ago, and every pro uses it nonstop all day, every day. The slide cancel, this is the basic way to do it. You want to slide, slide, jump, sprint, slide, slide, jump, sprint, slide, slide, jump, sprint, slide, slide, jump. And this is very simple to do. The reason for people wondering what how this happens and what it does once you slide, you slide again, you click slide again to stop where your slide is, and then you jump to stand up. So basically, you're sl stopping your slide and then hopping up. And then obviously, you want to aim in and shoot. So this is a very good mechanic to use and abuse. There's also various ways to do this, but this does take a little bit of practicing. You know you'll mess it up when you start jumping before you slide again. If you start doing this movement, it's because you're not timing your right and you're kind of like you're not doing it in the right order. Now, another way to do this mechanic is also like the Black Ops 4 kind of way. So you want to slide, aim, and jump. Now, this way is a lot smoother. I like to use this mechanic to engage more in some certain gunfights. Basically, slide, aim, and jump. This doesn't require you to do click the slide twice. It's just one little click. And it's it's you kind of glide when you do this. See, like it's kind of like I'm on ice skates, but like I'm really not, but like I kind of am. This, this is another way to do it. Now, two other little ways that you guys probably know, but I'm still gonna bring it up because this is a movement to video regardless. There's also the jump shot, but not like the basic while you're aimed in, you're kind of shooting someone and you jump shot. The way you can abuse this movement a little bit more is by strafe jumping. So, and then holding your pre-aim. So what do I mean by this? So let's say I think somebody's here and I want to challenge with a jump shot. Instead of me, you know, just sprinting or slight canceling this guy, you can you can do a strafe where you want to sprint and then stop your sprint and jump to the side. So basically I want to jump or jump forward and then turn to the side. So, so sort of like this. So sprint. Garrity. And you see, like I'm pre-aiming as I'm going around the corner. I'm I'm not just like snappy on him. Because the thing is that half a second, that a couple of milliseconds that you have to aim in, now he has a chance to kill you. If you're already aimed in, as soon as you're jumping around a corner like this, then you're already on your target. All you have to do is shoot and he's dead. So this is another good way to camera people and a lot of pros are starting to abuse this movement in this game. And it, it just, it looks very simple, but trust me, when you do it at the right times and you kind of perfect the pre with it, it is very good. And the trick to this little jump shot technique is you have to aim in most of the time. It's the best way to do it when you're jumping around corners, when you're going to do it. So you want to like that. You want to like jump around a corner and pre-aim. You don't want to jump around a corner and do this and then aim in. Obviously, there's times you can get away with that a little bit. But if you want to consistently win more gunfights with it and like actually abuse it, you just want to like, uh, like, for example, let's say I want to clear green here. Okay, I'm going to go up here, see nothing. And instead of me maybe slide canceling it, you can also slide. You can challenge this with a jump shot. You can do this. And trust me, when I do this, I win a lot of this gun, like this gunfight, I win out nine out of 10 times. And I'm sharing this with you guys because obviously it's a tip video and I'm gonna help you guys out. But this little uh, mechanic right here with the jump shot preem is really, really good. And of course this requires an attachment for the last one, but this attachment it is used in pretty much all the pro classes and every pro player uses because it's a really good uh, attachment. So there's no reason why you can't use this if you're using the right attachments, but you can abuse the drop shot a little bit by drop shotting around corners. So let's say a guy got you weak and you know he's about to push you and you're like half health. Instead of like challenging out or like just kind of like, I don't know, slight canceling challenging out, obviously you can still win a gunfight. But if you want to catch him off guard and do a little cheeky movement, you could do it like this. Aim in and drop shot to shoot him. Now the reason this is good again is because one, you're aimed in. So as soon as you drop shot around the corner like this, you are aimed in. Now he's sprinting. He's sprinting towards you. He's he's full health. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill this guy. He's so weak. And you catch him off guard by doing this mechanic because now he has to come off sprint to finish you off. If you do it at the right time and you obviously do it correctly, kind of like you see, I messed it up there. But you basically want to like walk to the side and get ready to drop shot, or you can hold aim in and then do this. 
if you do it correctly that guy is die is dying like 99 percent of the time now for disengaging and kind of escaping mechanics so obviously there's the basic slide this is probably your best friend when you're trying to run away right you're trying to slide away you always want to like this user slide you never want to you you can cancel the, the slide cancel so let's say this is the time you, you want to slide cancel to get away so let's say there's a guy here and there's a guy here instead of me sliding all the way i'm gonna be like like okay i don't i i want to see from this guy so i want to go here but i don't want to overdo it where I, this guy shoots me so i'm gonna slide cancel this and like basically stop my slide around this area so that's where the slide cancel is good um to escape you can kind of slide cancel away and then stop kind of where you want to land and versus like just sliding normal and like it takes you too far you know what i mean i mean you could also do just a slide slide basically same way slide canceling so that's one of the ways you can do use abuse the slide cancel to get away you can just obviously do the basic slide another way this is also just move good movement in general and you can even engage with this gunfight is the ledge slide so you can fly out let's say i think someone is here i could fly out like this and ledge sliding is really really good in this game um it wasn't really used in mw because you could barely ledge slide but in this game like you could do some really cool movement you could do like double ledge slides in certain parts of the map like right here i'm gonna show you you slide off this slide off that i didn't really hit the slide that well i kind of like walked off it but you can slide off multiple things at once and it's actually really cool like it depends where you do it and how high you are you can actually slide really far yeah, so those would probably be the three ways to kind of uh, disengage and escape from gunfights. The slide cancel, the slide in general, and then also the ledge slides. If you kind of like want to run away, let's say some guy shooting me, I'm like, oh snap, I slide off this. It will take you a little farther. It will give you some momentum. And there's actually one little other way that I'm going to share with you guys because, you know, I'm, I'm giving you guys the best tips and the best things. It's called the snake slide. Now, this mechanic is used by pros um not as much but it is used especially when it comes to like running away you can engage with gunfights with it but it's a little inconsistent in terms of like using it to fight people it's more so better to kind of slide across or slide away so the snake slide i'm gonna show you guys how to perform it um basically you want to prone and you kind of want to sprint you want you see this little this little you see how my hand moves to the side so you want to prone and then you want to sprint forward and my my guy's gonna do that little hand wave you see the left he gives that little hand wave so that's that's kind of the that's what you want to see visually so you want to prone and you want to sprint forward and you're gonna see that okay and then as soon as you see my hand you want to slide now you got to time it but it's a basically a slightly faster slide and if you do it correctly like right there it was a little bit slower because i didn't really do it as good and i don't use this as much i don't know it feels kind of cheesy to use it but if you do it correctly it is a great way to escape like if you want to slide across somewhere or like run away like let's say i have to go here to here and there's a guy shooting me obviously this is like a bad example because i mean there's nothing there for me to cover but like this is a really good mechanic to slide across places and get away with it like places where you think you're probably dead every time but if you do it correctly it is really beneficial so basically you want to prone you want it you want your hand to wave a little bit farther yeah like that okay guys so this is the final tip basically a little movement tips for you guys in the game and just like movement you know pro players use and this is a big one because i'm going to show you guys some good things so obviously um this is something you guys should know going down usually any like staircases ledges ramps you can slide down them it's a little bit faster obviously some places you want to do it and some places you don't really have to do it but this, the, the mechanic is a little bit faster. For example, like Moscow, you go top escalators. But this mechanic will make you maneuver around the map a little bit faster versus like springing down like this. It's a, a little bit of a quicker slide. Your guy gets momentum and you can keep going. But any like ramp, obviously this is like kind of like not the best ramp. Um, but like usually stuff like that is really good. Um, another big thing also are the ledges and just the... Obviously, I already talked about this a little bit, but like sliding off ledge like dude it is so good to do all the uh, ledge slides you can man it is so freaking good now there's obviously i think in every map there there's little parts that you can ledge slide like every map has their own ledge slide okay so you can do this like anywhere like that and you can like the craziest place where you think you can use it or what well, you don't know you can abuse it like do something like this like trust me you can jump on a lot of things and you can just ledge slide off it it is faster so obviously it's really good if you're trying to just get off really quickly or you're trying to kind of camera someone and kind of like just fly out and then challenge them well, that wasn't the best ledge slide but you're trying to like sl ledge slide and just challenge them 
versus like me just like sprinting like challenging or like you know just jumping off like obviously this isn't horrible but this boost of momentum it just makes it hard for them to like, follow you because you fly across so far that they went from like oh i just gotta you know adjust my aim a little bit to like yo i gotta snap on this guy so we're gonna be talking about mantling for the last big tip and this is actually really important for you guys to know so obviously in cold war i mentioned this a long time ago but you can hop really high on things like this big gen thing you can hop up on it's obviously really good to know this because i mean if if you didn't know then you might not even jump in places you think you couldn't jump to so obviously just always remember that but that's not even the best part about this tip the best and most important thing is about mantling like quickly into anything into windows into arches now obviously this doesn't apply to every single mantle spot on the map or anything you jump into but it's good for you guys to know this and keep this you know in, in your mind so you understand so obviously when i i could jump in this window and you can mantle into things and like camera people kind of because it's kind of like the bo 4 camera where you mantle in so fast you can kind of challenge the only thing is you can't really aim in the first couple seconds so you got to be careful but basically you want to do the fast mantles in a lot of these spots now to do the fast mantle one it requires momentum and two it's also based off like kind of the height of like wherever you're trying to mantle so that's why when you jump before you jump into the actual thing you're going to jump into um you will mantle quicker so that's kind of a way to think about it so for example let's say i want to mantle in this window if i'm here and i do this look at that slow mantle my character just did look at this damn he, he, he gave a long grunt there see how slow this kind of is it takes me like about a second and a half to like fully mantle in and be able to run now now watch this i'm gonna run and jump it's basically it's almost instant it's like it cuts the time like in half so this is really important to know so basically what i'm doing is like i'm jumping and then jumping in so basically it's essentially a double jump like this and basically i think why the game registers as because when i jump i'm about this height so now i just have to jump like this much so basically it allows me to jump in quicker because my character has to do less movement to to basically jump in so always keeping this in mind when you're jumping to things like you see like how you can even jump into this first if you wanted to and like it's just instant but there's obviously a cap to it so there's only like so so fast you know you can jump to so like that so another example is like right here on the plat obviously you guys know you can do this mechanic um the jump is kind of it's, it's not slow but it's like you know it's like kind of the same thing in the window it's a little bit of a hop kind of slow but if you if you were to do this right here if you were to jump on this and then jump on this you see it's like instant like i'm able to aim in pretty much right away but it's good to keep that in mind that is how you auto mantle quicker into a lot of things and jump over things a lot quicker guys i hope you enjoyed today's little tip video i know i've been slacking a little bit but i'm gonna pick it up i, I have a lot of good video ideas leaf plays coming out soon we got the aim academy going on we're gonna keep posting those videos and we're gonna keep killing it thank you guys for support thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something new a little updated new version tip video for you guys saw that ledge slide you like that that's really nice moving right there and you know this is why pro players are good i mean pro players are good for various reasons they have there's a couple of factors there's stuff that requires skill gap and obviously movement is one of them so having good movement is obviously really good so i have a ledge slide there that's what i'm talking about the ledge slide ledge sliding is really good versus me kind of like jumping out okay let me sprint no you gotta hit that pro movement hope you all have a freaking wonderful day and i missed that so it's okay and i'll see you guys in the next video peace